I can hear fuel pump running. The dampness popped up. It wants to run. But how much fuel flow have we actually got? No, it smells like crap. Whatever's been in it, it's like treacle now. Just, you've got the key off. Just leave the key off for a moment. Yeah, turn the key on. Hey, Jace. Yeah? It's not petrol. No. It's not dry pumping petrol at all. It smells like um, turpentine. Yeah, it's nothing here. It's never and it's all frothy and bubbly. Okay. Uh. not gonna run on that, eh? No, I don't think uh, I don't think it's gonna run on that at all. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> You can't, you can't have the camera vision, smell of vision. No, no smell of vision, but that, that stuff... I can smell it from here, it doesn't, it's not pleasant. <coughs> no. I bet you it does catch fire, but I bet you it's not very nice. Okay, get some flames. So this one was generating enough pressure to pop the dampener up, but it wasn't flowing enough fuel, and the fuel was... You can see in there that it is absolute crap. It is absolutely disgusting. So that's a surefire thing that it isn't going to run like it should. That's well past it. So, oh, but it drove the other day. Remember, I don't. I drove it. Yeah. So I did drive this around the paddock. Cool. Um, now you need to get a can of brake clean. Oh, here's a can of brake clean here. You want to stand um, on the other side? On, yeah, on that side. Yeah, good idea. Sure. That, that's better? Yeah, that's less likely to hurt if it gets you. It burns. Leave it alone, puppy. It smells like kerosene. It does. It's got a very kerosene. Puppy, you're right there. Keep it the fire, miss. Yeah, it's it's going this way. Yeah, that's pretty much us done, Jase. <clears throat> yeah, not enough. It's sitting on the tank, must be sitting on the side too, so. You get some more gas? No. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna put a, I'm gonna put a brand new pump in it, so I've got the proper sender unit. That should, it does make good weed killer though. Makes good weed killer. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the proper sender, because someone had been in there, of course. Let's bring the, a brand new fuel pump in it and get some new fuel going in it. So I've got a little uh, low pressure pump. I'm just using that to try and pump out as much of the crap out of this tank as I can. And then I went down to my other sawer because I happen to have more than one. And I rated the fuel pump cradle out of it. which is just a carrier that bolts in on these three bolts here. So that's the original pump. It's got the small terminals on it, little terminals, 38 millimeter. And there's my replacement. As you can see, it's a, it's a smidgen shorter, but it'll do the same job. This is a twin turbo Supra pump, genuine Nippon Denso. 
I've reused the stock basket on this case. I could have used the after the, the replacement basket. But... With the pump set back in place, put your hose clamps back on and do up the three nuts, pop the lid back on. Dunk. Well, it actually runs, so we'll step forward again. It's still misfiring, but it's now got a good pump in it. And of course, make sure you change your fuel filter. Make sure when you do a fuel pump, you change your fuel filter. Really common mistake. And if you're having any issues, I do recommend you recheck your fuel flow to check it's flowing enough. Hey, Bobby. Okay. It's just getting better and better the more it runs. Right guys, so this is the, the old Sora. It's a non-traction. Her body kit's gone. Actually already see it, started raiding it. If we look down here, if I get down here, here's the fuel filter. That's where the fuel filter's hidden. So make sure we change that when you do this job. There were some other nasties right here. Can we see it? Uh, let's see. Right there. You can see it's taking a big knock. It's had something come up and smack it and increase that fuel line. So that's something we spotted when it was up in the air. So that is an issue. This one has a genuine Toyota fuel filter on it. So it may have never been changed, isn't a good sign. The rest of the car is actually pretty tidy. You see we just slammed some shocks on that, so that shock is leaking. I just got some, um, we put some apexy lowered springs that I just happened to have lying around. Because we needed the, the springs, standard springs for Aaron's Sora, which is another video. Really, really tidy Sora. So I've sort of made the plan of tearing this one to bits and using it to fix number three. Uh, it was always the plan of, of tearing one of them to bits anyway. Um, I'll show you number two. 
and I've got to look at getting that going, but I'm, I'm just comparing the wiring on this one. Um, and it's a non-traction control, seeing if number three, my better one, that is still legal, or still has live plates, um, is a non-traction. So I'm looking in here, and it has one, two body plugs there, and it's got three tucked over the back. Let's go check the other one out. So this is number two. It's got a really tidy interior. I have never heard it run. This is number three. It's actually reasonable. It, it has. It's missing the shifter. Oh, there's a shifter in the back. So it's kind of been rated for parts. As you can see, it is missing an ink. It's now got one dog power in it. You're right there, Bobby. Can you just let me know if it's a traction or non traction control, miss? What do you think? What is it? Okay, can you get out, please? Bobby, get out. Get out. I think we're in luck. One, two, three, four, five. We are in luck. I'm luck. So this one, I think, can be fixed. Awesome. This is how this one now starts. Ooh. Yeah, boy. It's a goodie. Alright guys, with the new fuel pump fitted, I still recommend rechecking it afterwards. And this may sound funny, but I showed you that crimp fuel line. And I haven't changed the fuel filter because this car is going to come apart. So that'll be done when it goes into the new car. So this is why I recommend rechecking afterwards. It also checks for things like voltage problems. And all the other little bits and pieces that can go wrong with a fuel pump, even though the fuel pump is new, or that can affect the fuel pump's performance. So let's check this one. It's real, real easy. I'm not even going to start it, but normally you would do it by turning the key on and checking and running it. Let's have a look. Alright, so I've got my container. I've got my return line off. And I'm just going to bridge the diagnostic box. And look at that fuel flow. And of course I would time that, and in 30 seconds I would want to get a litre of fuel. Uh, that would give us 120 litres an hour, and that is a minimum that I want. I can see that that's plenty, that's doing us what it's want. So in that time, I got a litre. It wasn't 30 seconds, that's flowing plenty. And I know the engine runs well now. And a fuel flow check like this is a really, really good place to start. Even if you think your fuel system is good because it ticks it off the list. Real simple. And you see that fuel flow check took me just, just moments. Another really important thing to say, whilst I'm working on a Sora, and you guys know that if it's a Sora, it's gonna be a, a right-hand drive. It was a SC400, it's a left-hand drive, so things just reverse there. So, but they're pretty much the same. But the same, or most of the same stuff applies to an LS400 or an Aristo, if it's got a UZ in it. Um, all the Celsius, of course, because I just like an LS400. So all this information, 
crosses over between the models. It all interchanges, can be used. So just remember that, just because I'm working on a Sora, doesn't mean the information won't apply to some of your other models. Here's the um, removable steering wheel feature. I kind of made up my mind with this one that it is going to come apart I'm going to use it to fix my other one um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to do some diagnosis videos to some repair videos of some of the basic stuff on these we're going to fix that misfire and I'll show you the process that I do to check that and to solve it accurately then I'll pull the motor out and we'll put it in that other one I've got some more plans for it actually. Pretty cool plans too. Um, so, I hope that's been helpful. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next guys. Talk to you again soon. Catch you later.